A group of whale watchers head out from Victoria's Inner Harbour. As always, the most in-demand whale to see. What are you hoping for? I'd like to see an orca. Orcas. Orcas are really cool. There is intense interest and techniques in trying to save the endangered 73 southern resident killer whales. Three years ago, in a desperate attempt to feed a starving young female known as J50, scientists and members of the Lumi Nation okay, okay. fed Chinook salmon to the orca, the first time this had ever been attempted. But a new study from UBC's Green Mammal Research Unit reveals there is more Chinook salmon in the waters of the Salish Sea than previously thought. It's not as simple as we thought because I was surprised to see this result. Dr. Sato and her colleagues thought the southern residents were not thriving due to a lack of their main food source, Chinook salmon. Scientists found there is more salmon available to the southern residents in the Salish Sea, much more than the northern residents, which number more than 300. We were really surprised to find the opposite, that uh, there was four to six times more fish available to the southern resident killer whales here during the summertime when we were doing our surveys. So nobody predicted that. The southern residents are not returning to BC coastal waters as much as they used to. It turns out there may be a simpler explanation. I think the reason why they stopped coming back is because in December of 2016, uh, the matriarch J2 or Granny died. Granny or J2 died in December 2016. Estimated to be at least 100 years old, she's thought to have led the southern residents for decades. What changed the dramatic was a change in leadership. And presumably the West do come in still, but not like they did. Scientists believe there are other factors involved in the southern residents' dwindling numbers, including environmental issues in U.S. waters.